Hi guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. Today is my Year of Whips um, July update. I'm filming this on July the Sunday the 8th, I think. <laughs> I think it's the 8th. Um, I'm filming this early because on the 18th I will actually be overseas. I'm heading off on my honeymoon, I'm going to Europe, it's going to be fantastic. Um, I'll come back with a lot, new, a lot of new projects to start, I'm sure. I have my list of whips here. I have a lot of things here to show you. For some reason I've just turned off my light. I don't know why I did that, but I've got my little lamp here and I think we're okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through all the whips and the ones that I don't have to show you because they're finished or something, I'll tell you. Number one was Angle of Love and I finished that in the last video. Um, there'll be links below to my first Year of Whips video, my April update. Um, they'll both be in the the doobly-doo in the description below. Um, so the first whip, Angle of Love, I finished in the last update. My second whip, Bella Butterfly. Here's my progress on her. And that's really good progress because I, the last time I showed this I think I had one thread done. <laughs> so I have made some progress as you can see. Excuse my little hanging thread here. I have made a start on her skin. Most of her turban is done. Where is she? There she is. Um, yeah. So most of her turban is done. There's still a long way to go on her. She's probably one quarter done. Um, but good. She is a good bunch. At the moment, she's probably going to be my next finish because she's my take with me everywhere I go piece. Um, and I like her a lot. Um, so the next two, Bella Rose and Bella Hydrangea, are more in the same series. And I haven't started them yet. So nothing to show. Um, so that's number three and four. Number five is the Celtic sampler. Um, part one, Wallace. My goal for this was to finish all the stitching with silk on this, not the metallics, just the silk. And I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> um, there's still a lot of year left, but I haven't been working on this at least for this year. So there we go. That's how we stand so far. This is by The Needle's Praise, which is Darlene Osteen. Um, I've been working on this block up here all year. I think I also did this this block this year. Um, yeah. It's all queen stitches, if you can see that. Solid queen stitches. And it's wearing me out. <laughs> I'm sick of queen stitches. I know you've heard me rant about queen stitches before. So part one, this one is Wallace. Part two, Robertson goes right next to it. Um, so that's what I'll do next, if I ever finish part one. Um, yeah, I have not made much progress on this and it's slow going. All of my Year of Whips pieces are kind of on hold at the moment because all I've been working on is Sarah Brazier. Just this one, Sarah Brazier. I've been working on this non-stop and I really want to finish it this year. So all my other Year of Whips pieces may not make it. So we'll see. We'll see. So there's that one. Number six, Contessa with Squid. You may remember this one. It's a heaven and earth design. The artwork is by Omar Rayan. And she's so cool with her little squid pet. I'm working on page two. That's my goal for this year is to finish page two. And we're getting there. That's the edge of page two there. So I did work on this during Mania and I came down and I did basically all of this orange part here. I love the colours that are coming in, it's so cool. Um, we're getting there, it'll happen. It might not happen this year, <laughs> as I said, all I want to do is work on Sarah Brazier, but that will happen. Hang on, I just said that wrong. It's this way up. The edge of page two is one. Yeah, actually that's the edge of page two there, where the blue line stops. So yeah, I have a long way to go. And I actually worked on that orange part there. <sighs> Sorry guys. Um, yep. But I do love this piece. I don't hate stitching on it. I just, in general, I don't turn to my full coverage pieces for stitching. So I thought setting a year of whips goal would make me work on them more. It hasn't <laughs> made me do that yet. Um, but it will happen. I figure I'm 35. They're both, I have two full coverage pieces, they're 49 pages each. I'm 35. If I live to 85, I'll be fine if I do a page a year. No worries, right? Uh, 
Um, so the next piece, number seven. Number seven is Fir Tree Mountain, and I showed you that finished off in the last video. So two finishes. Um, number eight is Fire and Ice. I know a lot of people have seen this, this one, and here it is so far, ta-da, this is my oldest whip, that's better, it's my oldest whip, I started this in 2004 I believe, so since you saw this last I've done this part up here, I've done, finished off this page here, because basically almost none of this blue was done, um, and I've done all of this part down here, so it's my oldest whip, it was the one I wanted to finish most this year, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Looks pretty cool, right? It does look cool. Yeah. So, Fire and Ice. That's by Custom Crafts. And the artwork is by Charlene Linz Cog Osorio. As it says up there. Um, I think I will have information on all of these down in the description box. Um, number nine is Game Nouveau. This is another full coverage piece. You've seen a lot of people working on this, haven't you? Um, the artwork is by Medusa Dollmaker. It came as a kit from Gecko Rouge. And my goal in this for this year was to finish page two and page eight. So page two is this page here. I haven't made any progress this year. Page eight, this page down here. I have made a lot of progress this year. Basically finished off that whole... Um, actually, no, the piranha plant was already done. I think what I did in Mania... I've only worked on it for one day in Mania and I finished of all that blue there. I started on this green leaf here. There we go. Um, I feel like this page is definitely achievable. If I only finish one full coverage page, it'll be this page eight. Um, I love this piece because I'm a gaming nerd and I think she's cool and I love all my needle minders and I want to work on it just to see my needle minders. So. That's actually uh, number 9 and 10, because there's two pages on that. Number 11 is a new finish since my last update. Um, I finished this just before Mania. This is a small piece on silk gauze, and it's called Gaze a While. And it's by The Heart's Content. I'm sorry, it's a little out of focus. I hope that's better. Um, Gaze a While by The Heart's Content. 40 count silk gauze with Avera Soir silks. Came as a kit. It took me a long time to stitch. I had to learn how to do a basket weave stitch on the back to make it look nice. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that very well, are you? Uh, no, that's not really any better. Okay, anyway, well, it's a finish. And it's very cute. I love it. Um, very pleased with that. So that is finish number one, two, three. Uh... Number 12 is another finish. Oh, I've gone dark. This is Japanese Octagon Box by Chatelaine Designs. So this is a finish for the year and it's a Chatelaine. So let no one say I didn't have a big finish. That's better. This was a big piece. It took me a long time. I made my job hard off myself because I decided to do all this black satin stitch between the panels. Um, gosh, look how sparkly it looks there. I love this. Woo. So yeah. This is finish number four, Japanese octagon box. I could talk for days about this, but I'm not going to. But look how sparkly it is. Okay. <laughs> I think it has suddenly gotten really dark outside. So I'm trying to just lighten the video up. That might help. I hope. Sorry. Okay. Uh, number 13 was my secret stitch for this stitch along. Um, we had to stitch a secret piece that represented what soulful stitching means to us and I haven't shown it yet and I'll show it at the end of the year but it's finished so that would be finish number five yes number 14 is love and wisdom by the drawn thread and this is also a finish my sixth finish for the year there it is love and wisdom by the drawn thread it says wisdom tells me I am nothing I stitched this as a wedding sampler for me and my husband we got married on the first of June so there's my name and date. And then all of these specialty stitches. There's one for every letter of the alphabet in the middle there. And at the bottom it says, love tells me I am everything. And that's it. It's finished. And it really didn't take me very long. Band samplers generally don't take very long. Um, 
I love this. I had a lot of fun stitching it. A lot of new stitches I've never done before. Um, definitely need more drawn thread in my lineup. Love the drawn thread. Love tells me I am everything. Okay, so that is my one, two, three, four, five, six finish. Piece number 15 for my year of whips. I'm one of those crazy people who, even though they said I only have to do 15 pieces, I chose 25 for some reason. So number 15 is Merchant Mermaid by Mirabilia. I think I have the chart here, yes. Merchant Mermaid by Mirabilia. And I only worked on this during Mania, just for one day. And I have barely anything to show you. There, there we go. This is right down the middle of her tail. And basically all I did was some of this sparkly stuff at the bottom there. Just came down from about there and started going back up the other side. And that's it. That's all I have to show. Ta-da! Um, she's not going to get done this year. I can pretty much guarantee that. Yeah. Um, so... Numbers 16 and 17 are the Prairie School Alphabet. 16 is B is for Blackbird, C, uh, 17 is C is for Cow. I haven't got them here to show you because I didn't work on them. <laughs> um, that piece did come out in Mania, but what I did was actually unpick a bit of part A and I restitched it with a different colour. So I don't even have anything to show you. Um, number 18, Regal Peacocks. I showed you that as a finish in my last video. That was that Teresa Wensler small little magazine freebie. Um, number 19 is Sarah Elliott. Uh, oh, no, I don't, I don't have the chart, sorry. Um, this is Sarah Elliott, 36 count morning dove, linen. Um, this is the actual box top. What did I do? What did I work on? Might have done this house and this tree in front, I think, during Mania. Um, I really need to finish this because it's a present for my mum, which is turning 60 soon and I want it for her 60th birthday so I need to work on this. I don't feel like that one's going to get finished this year. Um, number 20 is Shroomhilda and that was a finish I showed you in my last video so there's another one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight finishes. Not bad. I think that's all though. Yeah so out of my 25 pieces I've only finished eight this year. That's not good. Um, Number 21 is Silver Medieval Sampler. Yes, good. This one. Um, I believe this is out of print, don't go looking for it. And this copy's already spoken for. Sorry, I can't remember who I'm passing it to. I think it's Tammy. Um, that's all I've done. T-U-V-W-X. <laughs> um, I love my moon needle, needle minder, don't you? And my sparkly fabric. Um, yeah, so I have a long way to go on this. I would actually like to finish this this year. And it's doable. It's not a massive piece. Um, yeah, This fabric is 32 count um, Belfast linen opalescent. Fat eighth in river sticks from under the sea fabrics. Oh, it's so sparkly. Mm. Okay. Uh, so... I'd like to finish that. I wonder, maybe, actually, I should take this to Europe with me, shouldn't I? But it's dark fabric. I think I'll take this. I think I'll take this, because that is doable. Okay, I think I'll take that. Yay! <laughs> One problem solved. Number 22 is Singer Sampler. Um, you've all seen this. I do have it. Yes, I do have it. Um, I only have part one as my goal for this year. Um... That's the first part, and that's all I have done. <laughs> Barely anything, as you can see. Ignore my needle minder. It's a little big for this piece. There we go. Doa. 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 Dead on arrival? Um, yeah. I'm slow, okay? I'm sorry. I could finish that one pretty easily. So when the end of the year comes and I need an emergency finish, it'll be that. Um, Syringady is number 23. Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> I have actually moved the, the uh, not Q snaps, what is this? This is a scroll frame. I've moved the scroll frame up so you can't actually see most of the stitching under there. Um, in Mania, I worked on this part here. There's a whole bunch of parts up here to work on. 
um, and then more at the bottom so it's a big piece this is one I really really wanted to finish this year there's still a lot of work left on it so it'll really just depend on my progress on Sarah Brazier because honestly she's my priority yeah I love this god the colors look amazing don't they so gorgeous 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 I love that piece um number 24 we're nearly there guys number 24 is the strawberry sampler there we go that's the back this is fully reversible that's the front what are you kidding me yes no I'm not kidding you that is the back and that is the front whoa I love this reversible stuff ah, god damn I'm so impressed with myself you guys look how good that looks what okay I'm gonna stop now um yeah I like this but it takes a lot of concentration um you have to really give it some thought while you're stitching it oh by the way there you go that's what it looks like when it's done so I have a long way to go basically you just saw the first little row and this much of this row so I have a long way to go but I'm enjoying I am enjoying it after the first row, I thought, oh, this is just going to be way too much work. I'll never finish it. But I've kind of got a little bit more used to planning out the path and it's going to be good. Um, and the last piece for my year of whips, it's a big one. It's the Tranquility Stitch Along. Tranquility, Tranquility Sampler by Sticky Dean von der Wienberg. And I started it when it was a mystery stitch along way back in 2006 or 7 or 8 or something. And that is where I'm up to so far. So this is basically the very middle. So I'm past the halfway point, as you can see. This is another one I could take to Europe, actually, couldn't I? The only problem is it's on um, such a small count, and I will definitely be in places where I won't have good light. But I might take this, because there's not that many colours, and it's small and portable. All right, I might take those two pieces. That's good. So I'm just choosing my own colours for this. I just pulled a bunch of colours I like from Wigs and Gentle Arts, and I'm just putting them in as I like. So there we are. I love this. I wanted this one finished too. <laughs> I was supposed to work on one, um, one little piece a month. Sorry, a weekend, um, along with And A Forest Group, but this, like a piece like this, takes 10 hours of stitching. It's more than a weekend of stitching. So um, I have abandoned that plan. <laughs> unfortunately because I was I was doing really well while I was keeping that up but um, yeah that's just really intensive too much stitching but yes I think I'll take this to Europe I can get some get something done on this so there we go that is my update for year of whips that's all the progress I've made since the last time I updated you hopefully next time look I'm not very hopeful that I'll have finishes because I'm working on Sarah Brazier and that's all I want to work on um, uh, I'll let you know anyway. I might try and finish off some of the smaller things. Certainly while I'm in Europe, I won't be working on Sarah Brezia. I'll probably take the Silver Medieval Sampler and the Tranquility Sampler. So there'll at least be some progress on those two, I hope. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in July, October for my next update. Bye.